All right, fully equipped. The wooden rod I did equip on Ferris, even though it didn't work out as the optimum one because it does increase uh, Ferris's magic power. Now, if I remember, yeah, thank you. I don't know how I missed that. Um, I swore I grabbed that. Now, I do believe hmm. there is an antidote in, well, there was an antidote in there. Now, if I remember right, there is a secret pass very nearby the item shop here. It's just a matter of me remembering where it is. Hold on, I want to try to figure this out. Okay, it was exactly where I was trying to go. I don't understand what's going on with me today. I go to the right places and it just doesn't work out. There is a secret passage down here where we can get an ice rod, uh, which actually might be an upgrade from the wooden rod that I just bought. Uh, let's take a look at it. Uh, ice rod, uh, magic... <sighs> yeah, I'm going to go ahead and equip that. Um, wooden rod I do want to keep around. Uh, just in case I should happen to get a uh, second mage, uh, which I might need to do from time to time. All right, now we are done here. I'm looking for secret items. At the winds, we can no more ships will come to walls. No. Right, of course. Sailing is a forever out of our reach. Lizards hibernate. Since when do? I'm not. Like, big on lizards, but do they really hibernate? Be any more boats, no. You're not spooks or anything, are you? <laughs> no, of course not. Oh, the pub! We have to go into the pub. Now, I believe. Yeah, the, the, the piano's in here! They're not in the inns anymore, I forgot that. Hey! Whoa! I see a secret passage! Thanks to my thief. O okay? Sure. Why not? That is the same guy. I wanted to talk to this guy. Dragon grass grows up in the north, but the crab grass choking it out. No. He's drunk. Freaking drunk. Press square button. I can't press square button. You have to be outside of town in order to use that. How, how you doing, man? You're doing a little better, Bart. A little better. Getting better all the time. Well, it was hard to get worse from where you were, I guess. Um, Alright, let's head up here through the secret passage. Get a thousand gil. And... Oh, come on. Nothing up here? Fine. I did. You don't have anything to say about me being in your secret... In your secret room? Nothing in the back here? I... S why would you have it lead all the way there and then not give me some sort of prize? Fine, whatever, I'll just move on. <laughs> oh god, this game, this game. Nothing up here. Looks like that's a, a place for a show, though, to be honest with you, but there was no show in town. Let's head into the magic shop. Arguably the most important shop in the game. Well, each magic shop, I should say. Do you have better magic for me? Uh, okay, so you have sleep, which I will take. Cure, antidote, uh, mute, I think is new. And protest, <laughs> which is actually protect. Uh, but sure, I'll take it. Protes. Uh, I don't know why they abbreviated it that way, but they did. They did. So I think we are actually done here in town. We've gotten all the information we need, which isn't very much, to be honest with you. So I'm going to rest at the inn, and I'll meet you outside of town. <laughs> oh, man, I can't believe it. I forgot to trigger the cutscene. I was so worried about all the, the hidden items in this town that I forgot about triggering the freaking cutscene. You know, plot? I forgot that. So let's head over here. And you see this girl here? When I'm moving this fast, it's hard to see her because she has green hair. You, right here. I need to talk to you. The King of Walls is south of here, beyond the sea. There is a machine there that amplifies the power of the water crystal. We've got to stop it. How can we get the walls? No more boats around here. Now that the winds died down, no Hydra either. 
This doesn't look good. How do we get the walls? Sorry, Ferris. <laughs> Sorry to bring that up. Bart, can't you think of anything? Let's see. Wind's out. Ocean's out. Think, think, think. If we can't use the ocean, then... Uh, do you have anything more to say? No. Okay. And then... Right. You appear out here after we talk to the lady down there. No one believes my hubby saw a dragon fly to the North Mountain. So he's drowning his sorrows upstairs in the pub. So after we talk to those two people, then we can go up here. And then this guy shows up. How did I forget to trigger all this? But I tell you, I really saw it. A big dragon flew to North Mountain. What did it look like? It looked like I had armor on it or something. Father's dragon on North Mountain? What be wrong? They say dragon grass grows on North Mountain. It's the only thing that will heal the dragon's wounds. The dragon might be hurt. I think I think we should go there then. If we can't go by sea, then. Uh, thinking, we'll go by the air. We could make it to walls if we had a dragon. Genius. Let's then let's head to North Mountain. Okay, so we have our next destination in mind. It is North Mountain. Now I will be using the inn, and I'll meet you outside of town. Cutscenes are important. Okay, we do have our next destination in sight. We need to find out what's going on on North Mountain. It sounds like King Tycoon and his dragon might be there. So let's head to North Mountain by going north. As you might expect, we do need to head slightly east, though. It's not too long of a journey to get to North Mountain. In fact, there it is right there. Let's head up the mountain. Hopefully we can find some sort of dragon. Let's sprint on through. Okay, we need to head to the lower path here first so that we can pick up another phoenix down. Very, very nice. Do we have new enemies now that we are inside North Mountain? We do. We have rock cutters and gila cats. I don't... I, the gila cat has got to be one of the silliest monsters I have ever seen. It is a cat with a tag. You'll notice that it has a tag. This is a house cat that somebody has strapped wings onto and it is now a flying enemy. I don't... What? Give me a tonic, Gila Cat. I deserve it for having to deal with the side of you. Hit with the freaking mm, ice rod. Uh, I should say do not use the items in this game, uh, your equipment in this game, uh, like you would in the previous games. Uh, if you try to use, let's say, the ice rod in battle, uh, like we've been able to do with some of the uh, some of the previous games, it will chuck your ice rod. <laughs> You'll do massive amounts of ice damage. Don't get me wrong, um, but. You will lose the ice rod, and I would not recommend you losing the ice rod just yet. You get 200 guild, 36 experience, and one ability point. Freaking Gila Cat. What the hell is a Gila Cat? Oh, God. Okay. We need to head up north here. Do we have new enemies or another Gila Cat? Oh, I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. Okay, we do have, a, well, new enemies. We have stones, and they don't have enough MP to use flash. Now, I do believe we can actually learn uh, flash as a uh, blue magic, but they have to actually use it. They can't just say they're using it, so um, that's going to be something that we're... We can't just learn just yet. We might have to come back and get that at some later point. As you can see, Bartz does a lot more damage now that he has the longsword equipped. And if uh, Ferris could hit with the ice rod... Corner! How dare you hit me with the corner! If you could hit with that on an enemy that isn't immune to ice, you could see that it actually does uh, ice elemental uh, damage. 
Uh, the flail actually does holy elemental damage cure, uh, I guess you could say. Um, so that's why he was, uh, Galif was doing more damage against the undead. Uh, he definitely isn't doing that much damage anymore. Damn it, stop hitting me with your corners. I don't think... It must be that they cannot be hit with that. Uh, because there's no way the accuracy rate on uh, Ferris is that low. There's just no way. Hit him with your sword until he is dead. Thank you. Can I steal from the stone? Couldn't steal, but he's got something. He's definitely got something. Alright, can I hit? Still can't hit. So definitely, definitely... Uh, it, it's a an equipment issue, not a not a luck issue, I should say. Yes, you get 294 gil. That's quite a lot. 50 experience and still just one ability point. But Reyna has gained a job level. She's received dash as an ability. Of course, we've been able to dash this entire time, but now we can use it in other job classes. That's what the abilities are for. And Gallop has gained a job class level, and he has learned uh, white three. So now we can transfer white three on uh, to another job class if we sh so wish. I probably will want to switch job classes fairly shortly, uh, but not right now. Not right now. Do we have new enemies? I believe there is one more new enemy that we can see here, and you guys are not it. Let's continue on now, sprinting our way to victory. God, he moves so fast. Uh, this is a very straightforward dungeon. Uh, there's not very many side tracks here, outside of the ones that we just saw. Gilligat! Let's keep heading up. I assume we are going up here. Oh, <laughs> the cloud was obscuring the door. Do we have the other enemy here? No, we don't. So let's go through the door now that I know it's there, and we can continue on. Come on, give me the other new enemy. I know it's around here somewhere. <laughs> Gila cats everywhere! With those guys out of the way, let's move on. Just a little bit, though. Let's get out of this cave and head back outside. Now these are the poisonous flowers that we were warned of earlier. Don't touch them. They'll poison you. There we go. We finally found the new enemy. This is a cockatoo. And it's, well, it's an upgrade cockatrice. What do you want me to say? It can stone you. Don't let it. I will fight you until you are dead. Down you finally go. But for fighting that one, we get 75 gil, 13 experience, and one ability point. So, not not a, not a fair, uh, well, not a bad trade-off, I should say. But you always run the risk of uh, getting stoned. I'm try I'm I'm moving slowly so that I can avoid these purple flowers here. Don't touch the purple flowers. Just stay away from them, and we have made it into the cave with a save point, which I will be using, and that looks like that's going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Final Fantasy V. What is on the other side over here? Surely it's not some sort of cutscene and or boss fight, considering there's a save point right here. I'll just have to wait to find out next time. Now, hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. I've been Bala Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by my no longer stranded party of Bart, Reyna, Gallif, and the female Ferris. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.